information on their family. Usher and Diddy was caught doing some stuff, allegedly. And she's back with a bang. Jaguar Wright, who's known for her bold personality, has recently revealed that there's yet another victim of Diddy's alleged mentorship program, and it's none other than Usher. Though we feel bad for Usher, we can't help but feel weirded out. Here's what you need to know. Honestly, when Jaguar Wright starts talking, you can't help but listen to the kind of facts the woman spills. This time, she has revealed a very shocking revelation about the toxic mentorship program which was run by none other than Diddy back in the days, when he reportedly exploited young kids, one of them being Usher. The nigga was sitting there talking about how they was in the bed, eating cereal in their drawers together. I don't know. He says all kind of inappropriate things. Not just this, but Wright also claimed during her recent interview that it was Diddy who gave Usher herpes, by forcing him to be a part of Diddy's Satisfy Me mentorship program. Jaguar Wright continued to explain how Usher was only 14 years old back then when he was robbed out of his innocence by Diddy because he was too narcissistic and a bully to blatantly ignore the kind of things he was doing in the name of his so-called mentorship program. You got it. Oh, no, that wasn't it. They ain't want it. Yeah. I mean, the simple, fact, the simple fact that the herpes that he got sued for very publicly. But, mind you, when you come forward with the kind of claim that Usher did with respect to getting herpes by his mentor Diddy, you should be prepared for what measures could the accused possibly take to respond to you. In light of this, Usher might have engaged in a relationship after completing his mentorship under Diddy's guidance, as a result, getting passing on the virus to his then-partner. And of course, things didn't turn out too well for Usher. According to BOSSIP, Laura Held claims that Usher Raymond infected her with genital herpes during sexual contact that took place in 2017 and that he did not disclose to her that he had been diagnosed with the incurable sexually transmitted disease in either 2009 or 2010. She further alleged that she had symptoms and read online reports of Usher's supposed diagnosis before testing positive for the condition. Helm initially filed a lawsuit against Usher in the summer of 2017 under the alias Jane Doe, demanding $10 million in damages. After learning that she had HSB2, she increased her demand to $20 million. That case was dismissed without prejudice, which meant Helm might refile it. She did so later in Fulton County Superior Court after switching counsel. Her lawsuit accuses the singer of carelessness, fraud, battery, and the intentional infliction of emotional distress, and it further asked for unspecified monetary damages for the physical and emotional harm she suffered as a result of the HSB2 diagnosis. In addition to the claim that he did not owe Helm any duty of care, Usher, through the representation of his attorney Steve Sato, also made the assertion that Helm may not have exhibited any symptoms prior to testing positive for the virus and may have acquired it from another person, where he requested that the case be dismissed and that Helm be ordered to pay his attorney's expenses in the alternative. But, Usher, uh, are you sure that Helm contracted it from someone else and not you, given the fact that as per rights and online reports claims, you contracted it somewhere around 2009 to 2010, and right after that, Helm contracted it from you in 2011. Isn't that too much of a coincidence? One million dollars to settle a lawsuit with a stylist who claimed to That said, Usher might have something to say in defense, but it's not what you think it is. According to Hollywood Life, he expressed to the publication that he is embarrassed and dreadful about what took place. Nevertheless, he has not made a public statement regarding the matter. So, we are not too sure where Usher stands on this matter clearly. Had sex uh, once in New Orleans and it was unprotected and she says that's when she was exposed to the herpes virus. Moving on, Twitter seems to have quite an opinion of its own, where users have bombarded the social media website with their take on the entire matter. One of the many weirded out users posted, Usher having herpes, R. Kelly having a sex cult, and Nelly being a rapist not a good year for 2000s R&B artists SMH. Whereas, another user stated, I don't think Usher should be shamed for having herpes, but he should be for knowing he had it and having raw sex with PPLW. Oh, informing them. Not to forget, there was one user that really caught her eye. Here's what their tweet said, endangering women's health by having unprotected sex with herpes. Three women have now reached out to me about Usher. Stay tuned. That said, could this mean that Diddy really is homosexual and used all of his students to satisfy his personal needs, while knowing that he was exploiting them? Well, here's what we know so far that does give us some kind of clarity as to what's really happening and if it all even happened in the first place. You see, this is not the first time that P. Diddy has been the subject of speculation regarding his sexuality. In 2018, he appeared in a verse in the song Hope by rapper Blood Sugar, where two males are seen cuddling in the video, leading to online speculation that he was gay. Then again, prior to the year 2021, there were persistent rumors about P. Diddy's sexuality that circulated on the internet. Many people believed that he was gay simply due to the fact that he had not made any statements regarding his sexual orientation in public. 
On the other hand, the level of trolling was not particularly extreme. On the day of the BET Awards ceremony in 2021, during which Lil Nas X was performing, there was a post that questioned P. Diddy's sexuality. P. Diddy had complimented Lil Nas X on Twitter earlier in the day for being brave about coming out. Here. We're queer, get used to it. The singer took the stage at the 2021 BET Awards on Sunday night. Whereas, the result of it all was that his followers had a lot to say on their Twitter accounts. Out of the many that were left shocked after Diddy's open yet encrypted acceptance of his homosexuality said, listening to P. Diddy songs and now it's all sounding different cause of the all the rumors of him being gay. TikTok is something else. While another user took to Twitter to express, I bet somebody at Buck the Lindsey Graham has some gay photos that have compromised and corrupted him. Somebody let him know that it is 2023 and okay to come out of the closet. Tell Tom, Will, and P. Diddy that it is okay too. Last but not the least, one other fan of Diddy said, could 50 Cent be right about Diddy and Rosé being gay? It is possible that P. Diddy removed the tweet in question as a response to the criticism he received, despite the fact that it is no longer available online and that several people might have saved it for themselves. Additionally, P. Diddy continues to act carefree and exhibit his natural sexuality despite the baseless charges about his sexuality that have been made against him. And, let's not forget the fact that P. Diddy has been married twice and has a total of six children is, in and of itself, significant evidence that he might not be gay or this could be why it's so hard to prove that he might just be that. On the other hand, during the course of their ongoing fight, rapper 50 Cent has on multiple occasions implied that P. Diddy is gay. 50 Cent remarked that he didn't even know what P. Diddy said was fruity during an interview that aired in 2018 on The Breakfast Club. Yet, P. Diddy has neither confirmed nor denied the claims that he is LGBT, despite the fact that he has been subjected to abuse for many years. And he go, when they do, when he do it, he says <laughs> things, he doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. It is also essential to recognize, in the meantime, that P. Diddy's sexual orientation is his personal business, that it should not be a source of conjecture or ridicule, and that P. Diddy should not be subjected to such treatment. Of course, his private life ought to be shown the appropriate amount of deference, and inappropriate intrusion into it should be avoided. It is essential to point out that engaging in destructive speculation about the sexual orientation of another individual on the basis of preconceived notions or assumptions is one of the factors that can contribute to a culture of homophobia. And honestly, this could could just be the reason why Diddy hasn't openly talked about his sexuality. For whatever it's worth though, according to statistics compiled by the NHS, genital herpes is a very common illness, especially among individuals between the ages of 20 and 24. In the year 2013 alone, 32,279 individuals in England visited a sexual health clinic for the very first time after experiencing an outbreak of genital herpes. Herpes simplex virus infection can result in excruciating blisters, yet the virus is sometimes carried without any symptoms at all. It is conceivable for a person who is infected with genital herpes to transfer the infection to a sexual partner even if they do not have any signs of the condition themselves. But, whatever the case might be, whether or not Usher got herpes from Diddy or if Diddy really exploited individuals who were under his mentorship, only time can best tell us that, given that there's plenty of speculation which won't be getting us anywhere for now. That's all for today, don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye!